Hey y'all, good morning. This is Pastor Murray, and I just want to show you uh, for your kayakers and people who have sm small boats and all, uh, one of the components I'm adding to my uh, bait tank is an airlift filter. Now, when I keep a uh, blueback herring alive, I supplement with oxygen. I have an oxygen tank and an air stone I use, and that's, that's really effective, but I've noticed in the past year that I do lose some bait, and it's because of the accumulation of scales from the herring. They drop the scales, and also the water gets a little bit dirty. So, been doing some research, and I've tried different things, but uh, this seems like it's gonna be the best solution. It's a simple airlift filter water circulator that's driven by your uh, power bubblers. Uh, and your power bubbler comes with the air stone. And if you can uh, take a look at how this water is flowing, it's aerated and it's sucking water from the bottom, taking it through a little piece of filter uh, medium and coming up and all this is driven by the air stone that comes with the uh, air bubbler so this is held in place it's in the corner of my bait tank and by the way my bait tank is a magellan uh, outdoors from academy sports it's a 30 quart bait tank your bait tank may be different any cooler will work so this uh, moves water and it's held in place and and I have it in the corner of the bait tank, but it's held in place by a suction cup. I drill a 3 8 hole into the PVC pipe and put the suction cup from Home Depot. And uh, I want to show you these components. It's a short piece of uh, one inch PVC pipe and then uh, adapter from one inch to three quarter inch and another short piece of uh, three quarter inch PVC pipe and then an elbow. And I drilled a series of holes in the bottom, uh, whatever suits you. But I've, in the bottom, I've got a section of air filter that I've rolled up that will catch the scales and allows it to draw the air and also i have a hole a quarter inch hole drilled in the side slight angle just below the adapter and i can push this out and show you the air stone so you see you're getting all of your aeration from the air stone and you're using those bubbles to power the pump so we'll pull that back up in here and we'll put it in and see it's hey all this is just the uh, components outside of the bait tank uh, so you can see it and again i take a little piece of air filter any kind of uh it's got to be a pretty loose type of, of fiber so it can draw the water through but you can roll it up and this definitely be efficient for catching scales and other debris in the bait tank so uh, it's a cool setup and the uh, awesome thing about this is none of this pvc piping or plumbing is glued or anything it's it's just a slip fit and you can uh, take it apart clean it to store it How whatever cool you need that? to do uh, you've already got the components if you've got one of these bubblers also one of the tricks i've used in the past year especially when the water temperature uh, lake water temperature is a lot cooler than the outside air temperature uh, I, I take an extra length of uh, air hose and actually run it through my scupper holes uh, in the kayak and back to this so you kind of have a cooling effect an air conditioning type cooling effect that helps to keep your uh, bait water uh, cool of course you can always drop your uh, ice bottles in but they take up room and room in this size of bait tank is limited so everything uh, 
that you can do to reduce the footprint of space and slide gives more room for bait. And I can uh, actively uh, keep two dozen blueback herring alive in this bait tank with oxygen, with oxygen and an air stone. And this uh, airlift filter is just going to enhance it. Uh, we're interested in keeping the bait alive for a day, and this thing will work. If you like uh, this video, please click like and subscribe. And, and you can uh, make this pump, uh, this airlift filter pump. Uh, components from Home Depot probably cost you about $8. So how cool is that? Uh, Good luck. Thank you for watching. God bless.